Gorkowski has that story. There's a lot of people talking here this morning. And Jenny. there's like a lot of elements to this okay. story here. So, um, Alisa. Montano, she became known as the pregnant runner. She basically was competing in a national championship while she was eight months pregnant. Now, she is the voice behind the New York Times op-ed video, which mocks Nike's campaigns. That op-ed is titled Maternity Leave for Athletes. Just do it. I was sponsored by Nike, and then when I told them that I wanted to have a baby during my career, they told me, simple, we'll just pause your contract and stop paying you. So Montano says she also had a similar experience with another sponsor, ASICS. Other athletes told the newspaper their sponsors did not guarantee them a salary during their pregnancies and after having their baby. So Nike did release a statement saying, in part, as is common practice in our industry, our agreements do include performance-based payment reductions. In 2018, we standardized all of our approach across all sports so that no female athlete is penalized financially for pregnancy. However, I was looking at this op-ed, a 2019 track and field Nike sponsorship contract that was obtained by the Times still includes a clause that says Nike can cut sponsorship pay when athletes don't meet their performance goals, quote, mm -hmm. for any reason. Okay. Kind of like at our job, they can fire us for any reason. Olympian Kara Goucher tweeted, careers are getting longer and longer. It's time all sponsors support women athletes throughout all aspects of their career. Pregnancy is a part of life for many female athletes, right. so stop punishing them for it. A lot of these contracts are really just to protect the company and don't ha often protect the person. Well, if we can scroll up, I put some notes in here um, in the prompter. So the top four, the Nike executives who negotiate yeah. the contracts for track and field are all men. That's just a fact that we want to put right. out there. Uh, many American laws obviously protect the rights of pregnant employees. They can't be fired, for example. But these professional athletes are independent contractors so a lot of these protections don't apply but some of them do get paid serena williams she got paid when she was pregnant and post-pregnancy so it just depends but it just seems like um nike can do better yeah for sure you know what i mean uh, but those are the facts you know they're independent contractors these are sponsorships right and a lot of people and it's on a social media makes billions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, and on social media, a lot of people are saying their response is tone deaf, and yeah. and Nike isn't isn't necessarily tone deaf. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. so so something better can be done. Yeah. All right. Well,